Hello everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you another video. Today we're bringing back an old favorite. That's right, we are revisiting the knitting machine and revisiting how difficult it is to get this baby into a shot. All right. Um, so for today, I found at the local Dollar Tree um, a whole skein of yarn. And it's kind of this nice, like creamy, um, sort of like nude shade, like uh, a taupe almost. Um, and I think it's really gorgeous. And I also think it would be really gorgeous if I turned it into like a hat. And I actually haven't made like a full sized, you know, adult hat <laughs> out of here yet. Um, I also had something else I wanted to try out, which is this little pom pom maker that I got off of Amazon. I have a whole set of these in a bunch of different uh, sizes and styles, and I just want to kind of see how they work. Um, so I want to make a hat with a pom-pom, and I've got some of this leftover um, faux leather with like a felt back that I used for my uh, like uh, chapstick holders and like um, that, that video, I'll put it up here if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Um, I only used the pink out of that one and I have a bunch of other colors and I think that these two look really pretty together. So I'm going to start by uh, finding the end of my yarn right here. And we are going to make sure I have my correct needle at the front, that's gonna be the black one. There she is. Um, that way I know how many times I've gone around. And I can adjust the tension in the back by splitting something in there and, oop, not yet, I'm missing out. This goes in the center first. And I'm supposed to swim this around and then this back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, all the way around. Now I'm gonna pull it down here and stick it in there. And I should be able to keep it rolling, keep this nice and loose so that more yarn can keep coming. And, I just start rotating. Now I try not to stop as much as I can, but while we're here, I'm also gonna throw something else out there. There are tons of cool little tools that kind of make this work for you. Um, you can pop this off um, and replace it with this basically, and it is automatic. Um, if you want it to just kind of keep going. Uh, so you don't have to kind of add your own consistency, speed, whatever, it'll it'll just go for you. Um, unfortunately, I think I accidentally bought like some sort of knockoff or something, cause it just doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. Uh, you're supposed to, in theory, just be able to kind of screw this, unscrew this and it'll come out, but the screw will not come out for the life of me. Um, I would like to try this though. So I'm gonna try to get it out one more time and see if I can make this work. Otherwise they do have some like drill bit attachments that you can just pop on top of this and then drill and it will uh, go for you in a similar way. So yeah, I'm gonna try to undo this and we'll see how it goes. So in theory, I should just be able to twist this out, but you can see when I twist the screw, the whole thing starts moving and it's just not supposed to do that. I cannot for the life of me get it to twist out. Man. So this is about three minutes. Um, you can also tell kind of where I started stopping a lot. You can see that it dropped a lot of stitches when I was, um, you know, being a little inconsistent. Uh, but everything kind of falls into the center. So the way that I've seen these done is they actually get like twice as long as you really want them to hat lengthwise. Um, and then you fold them in on themselves. I don't actually know if I'm gonna have enough yarn for that. I'm probably just gonna do the whole skein and see what happens. Um, and then I will attach the, like a little, tab and the pom-pom after the fact. Um, so I'm pretty much just gonna keep powering through this as much as possible. Really wishing that this, that I had a way to make this work, I really do. Um, because man, my arm's already gotten quite a workout and I've already done my workout for today, so it's just like extra killer. <laughs> I am not done yet, but I just realized something. Um, if I use this whole skein, then I am not going to have any to make the pom-pom. So I'm gonna find the other end 
of the yarn here if I can and I'm gonna try to go from the other end and make the rest I'll make this uh, freaking pom-pom hold on let me see if I can find it off camera because I feel like this is gonna take a very long time all right, I'm gonna show you how this all works now. So the way that this works is you're supposed to kind of separate them out like this. And of course, keep these nice and in line. So I'm just gonna start on one end and I'm gonna keep these together. And you loop underneath, kind of wrap it around like that. And you're just gonna keep going, making sure not to do what I just did. And don't touch these guys. Um, and wrap all the way around both sides. All right, this is my first time doing this, so I'm like super nervous. Um, but I guess you're just supposed to cut up the center now on each side. Oops, stay closed. Like that. I didn't fill it up as much as I've seen other people do. I don't know if it's necessary, but just kind of cut through the middle part there on both sides, making super sure it stays tightly closed. And the extra. I'm just gonna snip there. Um we're gonna tie a knot through the center, double knotted of course. I'm just gonna make sure it's relatively long. I'm gonna go through, just through the center piece here, all the way around, all the way around, yep. And here I will double knot it just to be sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now we should be able to lift both sides here, okay, nice and fluffy, cool, and this side, one side, two sides, nice and fluffy, I've got my little extra long tassels here, and you're just supposed to pull it apart from the center and you should have a pom-pom. Well, they're a little messy, but I think I can fix it. Clip, clip. Clip, clip, clip. I also still have a fair amount of yarn left. So, I mean, this should at least make it all the way to the table. Um, if not a little bit longer, and then we can decide if we want to fold it or not after. I'm feeling like it's probably gonna be, maybe be a folded like bottom, but not the whole thing. So let's, uh, let's wrap this baby up. Okie doke, down to the last little nib. Um, and I've got this guy because I'm going to have to close up the top. So the bottom's already kind of finished, uh, thankfully. But the top portion um, is gonna be loose with like random holes. So this is the one that I'm gonna close up into the top of the hat. So, I also think that when you fold them in on themselves, which I don't think we have enough to do here, um, you're supposed to kind of close both in like a hat and then kind of stuff them in. Um, we're gonna keep this edge at the bottom here. We're just gonna double fold the edge instead of the full hat. So yeah, this is not bad for a full skin of yarn. Definitely like a single layer hat um, as someone who lives in the Midwest and not, you know, Alaska or Appalachia or whatever. I'm feeling okay about this choice, um, but definitely might need a second skein if you are trying to create a double layered hat. So I'm just going to rotate all the way through until all of my loops start loosening. Um, this is about what we're left with and this is our raw edge up here. So yeah, this is definitely just like a hat. Definitely not something to do a second round of, but this is kind of what the inside of the fabric looks like and here is what the outside looks like in the nice rows. This is what I wanna keep as the outside because I think it looks neat and pretty. 
Um, and I'm gonna flip up here and see if I can find where my loose edge is. So right now, I can't seem to find her. Lotion dip, feeling a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna start here and you can see that each of these rows ends with a loop. And then I'm gonna come back and go through the next loop. And the next loop. I'm gonna keep going around until I get all the way through. All right, so I'm just down here on the bad side. I made sure to flip it inside out so that the kind of uglier parts of this are going to kind of be ugly on this side more so than anything um, and I'm feeling like that's pretty good and I just kind of pulled it tight and we'll flip back it's a nice side as you can see it's kind of inside now kind of <laughs> uh, and that's uh, kind of the basic shape of the hat really I want to attach the um, the pom-pom and that's going to be pretty easy. So I'm just going to kind of making sure I'm on the right side, which I am. That's great. I'm going to poke my yarn needle. Oops. Got stuck on something. Up through the tip top right in the center. Mm, there you go. And I'm going to pop one side in. I like a crochet needle. Pull it through, and again, pop up as close to the middle as possible. It's not very middle-like, is it? It's a very thick hole over there. Ooh, there we go. Pop it through, and put the other end of this through. Yoink! As you can see, it's attached in there. Now I'm just gonna grab both sides, flip again. And these are also going to get a nice, tight knot. All right, here we go. We got our little pom-pom at the top. How cute is that? All right, and there we have it, a puff ball and a cute little tab kind of added in there just to really keep the bottom rolled up the way that it needs to be rolled up so it can stretch and kind of collapse. So that's nice. Um, I'm not really sure what these are for, like logistically speaking, maybe it is just to kind of keep these guys rolled up the way that they're supposed to, um, but I think that they're kind of cool and add like an extra layer of finality to the design. Like it looks like it's really done. So that is, um, that's our hat. Uh, I, guess, I guess I have to go try it on now. Um, please hold. And there we have it. Um, this isn't my favorite style of hat, but I know a lot of people do like these, especially for the winter time. It definitely comes all the way over my ears, wraps around the back pretty nicely, and there's a little bit of extra. Um, so pretty, pretty solid size, even for someone with maybe a bigger head than I have. Um, I love this look over here. Like, I think it's it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing. The puff ball is giving. Um, it's like actually pretty stiff, but <laughs> yeah, I uh, it turned out pretty good. Looks the way it's supposed to look. So that is the hat on. <laughs> and there we have it. The hat looks great. The pom pom looks great. Everything is fantastic. I'm super ha super happy with it and I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes I just make something. Sometimes I'll do some sort of review. Um, but really the major goal here is to just give you guys a little bit of inspiration. So um, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so so much and I hope to see you then. Bye!